Hey, this is Brandon, <clears throat> and this will be my chart review for Thursday, February 25th. Uh, I have a, another early day here. Um, I took four trades, and I was just pretty much about ready to call it a day. Um, I am uh, I'm trading live now, and I'm trying to stick to between three and four trades. Um, so I was, <laughs> I was not really sure about, you know, trying to take one more trade. I told myself that, uh, I'll take one more and, uh, call it a day, win or lose. Um, I was only up about six ticks at this point. Um, so then I took that one more trade right here and got a quick scalp. So I called it a day. Um, pretty decent result for today. Um, about a hundred and seven dollars. So, uh, <clears throat> so anyway, um, it, it's shaping up to be uh, pretty much a, a range day, um, and it looks like support is probably down here, about an equal distance from from this upper line to the midline. That looks about right. Um, so <clears throat> we had a channel working up in the morning. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, I started, I was up super early, uh, so I started watching the price action around 4.50 in the morning. Um, and uh, that's West Coast time. I wasn't really sure if this uh, trend line wasn't a little bit steeper. Um, in the end, I like it right here. I thought it could be a little bit steeper if, we, if I draw the, the uh, line right through the close on that bar. Um, and then you have a little close outside right in here and a couple legs to a new high. Uh, in the end, I, I like it right here. It matches up really well with these highs here and that, uh, that high right there, that close. And we get an overshoot, and sure enough, we get an overshoot on the other side. Uh, so we get the break of that channel and then two legs to a, an equal high. Didn't make a new high. Uh, but it did make a, a, an equal high to the tick, um, and then it reversed. So pretty straightforward um, range type action. And so with that, I'll zoom in here. When I started watching, I was we were working on this short-term downtrend here, um, <clears throat> and then we got a break. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it did drop down here to make an equal low, but I thought that it's that it might do a little bit better than that. You know, it might make a push down to make a new low. Of course, it eventually did, uh, but you know that's much later in the session. Um, so anyway, I was <clears throat> excuse me, I was geared towards looking for a short. So we had a, a first entry long pulled back and there was a second entry long here and it failed. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so it failed right here um, at 30 and a quarter. And I, I was leery to go short that low. Um, I wanted my stop to be at least above a tick above that bar. <clears throat> and I, I, if I'd gone short right there, 30 um, even, and I have my stop at 33 and a half. That's a three and a half point stop. I was, wasn't was interested in doing that. So after it ticked down, I used a limit order to get short right here at 31. <clears throat> and then I only had a basically a two and a half point stop. Um, because it was a 10 tick stop, I actually moved my target a bit lower. I went for a five tick scalp um, 
and I got it <laughs> just barely. It went a single tick through my uh, buy order there, and then it reversed. Um, so notice this trend also gave me some confidence to take this short right here, but uh, in the end, I don't I don't think that's really valid um, because. It's, it never made a lower low anywhere in here. And so this whole area turns out to be, you know, the break of this channel and the um, kind of a trap right here to take it higher and retest the highs. So notice the low here, first entry short, pull back, second entry short. Um, it only, you know, it only goes like two ticks from your entry, maybe two or three ticks. Uh, and then it fails and it goes out the top. Notice it went out the bottom and then it went out the top right there. So um, I, I thought this could be a trend line, so I was leery to go long right there. Um, and uh, <clears throat> so I skipped that trade. But in the end, I think this is not valid. And really what you have here is a little down, uh, downtrend here. And it retests that low, tries one more time, fails, and it reverses and goes the other way. So I like that failed second entry short in a, basically an uptrend. <clears throat> so then we had a <clears throat> little short-term downtrend here. And it, it made a first entry long, pulled back, and a second entry long right here. Um, I believe this is an aggressive somewhat risky trade because we still haven't made a new low we made an equal low we still have not made a new low here and it made a lower high compared to that high and you have that short-term trend line and so this is the first break so i was not i didn't take that second entry long um and obviously it would have worked so I, i'm going to call that aggressive <coughs> Excuse me, I have congestion here. Um, and then you're working up. You see that short-term uptrend. You get the break, and the first entry short pulls back, and then you get a oops. Second entry short right here. It's somewhat of a trap because you have that little bullish bar. I would have obviously liked it a lot better if it ticked higher, one or two ticks, and then reversed. Um, but as it as it played out, um, I, I ended up skipping that trade as well. I thought this was fairly bullish, and um, you know I thought we might push higher and make a. Uh, this might I thought this might turn into a failed second entry short, honestly, and so I skipped that short. But it satisfied the rules. It made it equal high. It retested the high, and then it reversed. Now notice this is pretty much a trading range type of area and it's had most of the closes above the EMA so it has a somewhat bullish bias and also you know we hadn't made a new high kind of like over here we hadn't made a new low we also had not made a new high we made an equal high but not a new high um, so when we had this little trend working down we got a break and basically kind of like a first entry it never ticked higher but it's it's more or less a first entry and it pulled back and made a second entry long. I actually went long right there. Um, notice all these matching lows right here and, and see how it went uh, it one or two ticks. Yeah, it went, it went two ticks lower. This was a really bearish bar. It went two ticks lower and then it failed right there. So I, I thought that was a low risk type of aggressive type of long entry so I went ahead and took it it went a couple of ticks my way um, I used a limit order there obviously so it had already gone four ticks but it came back and filled me and went up like two maybe three ticks and then dropped down and stopped me out notice I have my stop one tick below that low so it was not a full eight tick it was uh, in fact a six tick loss um, in the end uh, you know, you have no closes below this line, 
until here. And so this turns out to be, I guess, pretty much a, a breakout pullback type of uh, entry. Notice you get that close right there. Uh, it breaks lower and pulls back, gives you that big bearish bar. I do believe it's fairly aggressive uh, because you're going short right here at the lows of this kind of trading range type area. Um, but it ended up working out. It might be a little bit aggressive and risky, which is why I, I marked it in green. So <clears throat> I had this channel drawn um, just because it matched up on these lows here. And it was tempting to look for a short in this area, but and we we did have an entry, you know, first entry long, pull back, second entry long, and it failed right there. Um, it's also from the low, first entry short, pull back, second entry short. It's right off of that potential trend line. It's right off the EMA. So it was tempting for me to go short right there, uh, but in the end I skipped it because. Because of all these matching lows, it seemed like there was a lot of support there. So I passed uh, on that. <clears throat> um, and we had it, we had this little short-term trend line working up. Um, so I don't like that channel. I like this channel. Um, and you see that fits nicely there across those first three or four bars. Um, and then it, it, it fits perfectly right in this area. The only thing I, I don't understand is where I should be putting my midline and my lower line. You notice the midline I have here that lines up really nicely with that price action and also right in here, but it never made the move down to the lower line. Uh, so, <clears throat> so I'm not really sure about that. It could be that this is the lower line here and this is just a big overshoot. I don't know. But uh, anyway, I was definitely looking for shorts. Um, and I didn't have this trend line, but I had what I needed to take this in, this uh, trade right here. Um, notice you're working up, you get a break, and it tried to push higher. From this triple bottom, it's a first entry long, pull back, second entry long. Uh, it's definitely not a good setup to go long. It's not a good signal bar. Um, it's, you know, it's trending down here. You, you should, I should have had this line, even though I didn't, I, I still was not, not going to be taking a long in here. Um, so instead, when it took one higher and uh, failed to go any higher and then reversed and broke, broke down below it, um, I thought that was a nice trap. Failed second entry long. I went short there and it turns out it was perfect against the, uh, the trend line and um, pretty much on the EMA as well. So I took that, just used a stop, got a four tick scalp. Um, my guess would be Mac won't have this line drawn in. You know, he, he sees those sort of things just even without even drawing them in. So he probably will not have had the hesitation that I had um, with this setup, I mean, without that line, it looks really, really pretty. Okay, you got this trend line working down. Everything's closing inside the trend line. You have a new high here. First entry long, pull back. Second entry long. It's a nice bullish bar, um, and, and it runs right into that trend line to the absolute tick right in the EMA reverses and closes all the way on its low. I mean, that is a pretty, pretty setup. But for me personally, I, I was nervous about this support area. So when it broke lower, I actually used a limit order to go short, one tick into it, um, got filled there, and I reduced my target. Instead of going for the full four ticks, which would have been right on that line, um, I moved my order to a three tick target um, and it, it, this was, it, it didn't happen here. It happened on this bar, just my platform sometimes has a, a slight delay. But anyway, that's a really great setup. It's a failed second entry long. 
uh, in a downtrend, right off the trend line in the EMA. Doesn't get much better than that. <clears throat> Just that was my one hang up was that support line right there. <clears throat> so it continues working down, and you have uh, almost a like a repeat pattern of what we had over here, which is what kept me kept me from going short here. You do have kind of a one leg pull back, two legs back to the EMA, uh, and it's a first entry long pull back, second entry long, and it fails right there. Uh, obviously, it would have worked for a scalp, but I didn't take that trade. Um, Technically, it is a first entry short, counting from the absolute most recent low. Um, so I'm not in the business of taking first entries. And um, again, I, I was worried that we might have another reaction like that. You know, there, there was some buying coming in there. There was some support. Um, we had this little trading range. And I was personally, I was thinking, OK, we got a little failed breakout the bottom of this tiny trading range. Now let's get us a little failed break out the top and I'll go short. Um, it didn't happen quite as I expected, but we did end up getting uh, a, a chance to go short right here. And this, I mean, maybe Mac won't mark this. Maybe he will. I don't know. It, it might be some of you might think of it as aggressive and risky. Um, I liked it. I, I was watching this short term trend line coming up. We got a little break here, pushed up to a new high. Um, this looks like a bullish reversal, but remember, in my, albeit limited experience, uh, the first attempt at a reversal typically fails, and it's not until the second reversal that it becomes a legitimate thing. Um, plus, we have a clear trend working down, and this is the first break, so I'm not looking for longs yet. Um, so we got that little break. It pushed up to a new high. I was actually ready to go short under this bar, um, but it didn't drop down. So I, I canceled my order. And we got this little bullish bar. And as soon as it ticked higher, I was ready. I, I dropped a stop, sell stop right there, one tick below. Um, and sure enough, it it's one of those little one tick traps. It pushes higher there, one tick, instantly reverses and closes almost on its low. Stopped me into the short there. Um, hesitated a couple of ticks there, but uh, sure enough, it dropped down and gave me the, the four tick scalp. Um, so I, uh, I called it a day at that point. It was tempting to call it a day at this point. I already had four trades. I had six, six ticks in the bank. Uh, and um, and so I was really not sure whether I should continue or not. And I told myself that uh, I'll take this one more trade and I'll quit for the day, win or lose. Um, so that's what I did. Unfortunately, it was a winner, and I called it a day. Um, I like this trade right here. Notice the uh, that area of support. Broke here and became resistance, and then right here and on a, on a bigger picture, this is the second entry short. Uh, even if you draw this trend line a little flatter, and that that makes sense, um, you get your break and two legs to a new high, and look at that. It's another little trap. Nice bullish bar there. One tick higher, and then it just drops and closes and, and, and uh, breaks breaks out the low side there. So, uh, and that's you know it's it's basically kind of like a breakout pullback as well. Um, <clears throat> so I like that setup also. Let's see what happened here. Wow, that's a good setup. Good setup. Now, why would you not go long there? Let's draw the short term trend line. And 
no matter how you draw this trend, if you draw it there, you've had a break and two legs to a new high. If you draw it here, that's the other place where it makes sense. You've had a break and a new high. Um, I don't I don't think it's very legit to draw it like so. Uh, if you do, I mean, and that probably fits on the other side too. It does tend to fit right there. So that's pretty tricky. Um, you know, it's the second entry. It's right off the trend line, right off the EMA. Big bullish bar. But here's the problem. Downtrend. Little downtrend here. Um, you get a break, and here's a break. It did it did make an equal low, but it didn't yet make a, a new low. So that's the only, <clears throat> I guess that's the only thing that can really keep you out of that trade, uh, keep you from going long right there. So, so yeah. Wait. I, I prefer to have this this trend right here. Let me check something else also. Let's kind of line up. It kind of lines up there. That looks pretty good. Maybe this is a spike in channel. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. This is just a nasty trap. I'm not not too sure what would have kept you out of that. But uh, notice it, it looks like a bullish reversal, but we're still working on a retest of these lows. This was a clear channel working down. This is the first break. And so all this is, it turns out to be a, like a failed bullish reversal type pattern. Maybe we're going to get a real bullish reversal now. But I, uh, I think this, this rule is very helpful. And again, that's the only thing that keeps you, keeps you from going long right there. You had the break, but you didn't have a new low. Um, and that's a pretty clear trend working down. So, and this is, this is not a really legitimate two-legged pullback either. There's one leg down, a little correction, and a second leg down. Now, if you got a nice setup down here, then yeah, okay. You know, you had a break, you had a new low. If you got like a nice bullish reversal bar right, right kind of right below the EMA or something like that, after an equal leg down, okay, yeah, go long. But don't go long here. Don't go long there because it hasn't made a new low for that little short-term trend uh, and look I mean they trapped him they trapped a lot of longs right there boom alrighty so hmm. there's a little one tick trap right there it broke low and then it broke high Hmm. So I'm willing to, I will mark that as a long. Because you've had a break and a, definitely a new low, and you're running into this support type area, and you get that little one tick trap. It's a second entry long counting. Counting from the low here, first entry pullback, second entry. All right, so that's it for me. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and thank you for watching.